Yo, yo, what's up you guys? It's Jeremy Ray and I'm back with another banger video. Inside of this video, we're gonna be breaking down an insane app called Upcart. You guys love the last video I did on cart upsell apps, so I wanna make another video explaining another app that talks about cart upsells and shows you guys how to make effective upsells in your cart. We're gonna be talking about an app that's literally going to increase your sales by simply downloading it and pressing a few buttons. It takes literally no work at all to get this set up. So you guys, as we are on my computer, the first thing you need to have is a Shopify store. If you don't already have a Shopify store set up, make sure you go to the link in the description right now, click start Shopify and set up a Shopify trial. The link in the description is going to give you a discount. You're gonna wanna navigate down to apps and you're gonna wanna type in Upcart right here. As soon as you type in Upcart, it's gonna bring you to this page where you're gonna be able to see these guys right here. These are both the same, so we're just gonna click this one right here and we're gonna click add app. But before before we do, I wanna go over a couple things with you guys. So basically, the whole entire point of Upcart is to add additional revenue or add additional money to each and every order that you get. Every order that you get that comes through your store is now going to have the potential to make or be worth even more because you're gonna be offering your customers different upsells and things like that that they weren't being offered before during the purchase process. Moving on, you guys, customer rewards module. So incentivizing higher cart value, offer free shipping and discounts, add multiple rewards, custom congratulations message. So you can do a lot of customization with Upcart, which is another big thing. As you can see right here, here's an example. You know, you're $80 away from free shipping, right? And uh, you could have multiple things like $80 away from free shipping and then, you know, another 80 away from 5% off, right? So it can kind of be like almost like a game. Another cool thing about it is when you guys set this up, you guys will notice they have AI recommended offers. So they'll basically be like, hey, you know, we recommend you do this product with this product or this product with this product. So then when your customer hits the cart page, it's giving it, you know, not only options, but they're giving your customer the best options that they're most likely to buy. What I wanna do is just add this app and show you guys how it actually works. So we're just gonna go right here and click add app. You guys can go to the link in the description to set this up for yourself, but first watch this video so you know how to use it. As soon as we hop into Upcart to actually set this up, which is what we're gonna be doing now, first we have to activate it. So first we gotta click open theme settings and we have to actually activate Upcart as our cart app, otherwise it's not gonna work. So we turn that on, click save, and then as you can see, we've got that done, match your brand design. So if we go ahead and match our brand design, we can click right in here and just basically adjust all these colors to match our brand. So whatever colors we wanna do, whatever fonts, anything like that, we can do it right here. The cool part about this, you guys, is it's already gonna inherit the fonts from your current theme and all that stuff. So as soon as you download it, it's already gonna be looking good, but if you wanna mess with it more, you can right there. The next thing is gonna be to add upsells. What you're gonna be able to do here with the upsells is you're gonna be able to choose however you want it. You can do use AI recommended upsells, which honestly is what I recommend, or you can configure manual upsells to where you could be like, hey, you know, when this specific product gets added to the cart, then upsell this specific thing. So for example, if I were to go like configure manual upsells and I said specific trigger, and I said once somebody selects this chain to their cart, upsell them this ring, right? I could do that and then I could click update and essentially that's what will, or I could go like this, trigger product, add new upsell, right? Specific or upsell, whatever I wanna do, I could do right there basically. I configure it manually however I want, which is helpful because sometimes it does make sense to configure something manually. Show upsell offer item already in cart, limit the number of upsells in the cart, nah. We're gonna show um, upsell offer, nah, we're not gonna do that either. That means if the item's already in the person's cart, do we wanna show it as an upsell for so for example if they have a chain and a ring in the cart do we still want to show them the upsell of the ring and I said basically no because if they already have the ring in their cart there's no point in trying to upsell them another ring you might want to upsell them something else we can also go up here to announcements and we can kind of mess with the announcements bar you guys and um, this is completely up to you with what you want to do with it if we enable it as you can see right here this is what it will look like so if we want to say your products are reserved for let's do something like, you know, five minutes and 32 seconds, right? So it looks kind of believable. So five minutes and 32 seconds. You can change the text right here. You can bold whatever you want. You can do whatever you want right here. Your products are on hold for boom, boom. Or, or I mean, this is the best terminology to use. Being held, 
boom. And I only really recommend it using this timer for super viral products. If it's just a product that's just like a, you know, jewelry or something like this, I wouldn't even use this timer just because it's more for impulse purchases. And if somebody's coming on your website and shopping around, they're probably not making an impulse purchase. So think about your product and what you're selling and then make this decision to use this or to not accordingly. But for the sake of this video, we're gonna use it. So just click save, boom, and then rewards, right? And the reason I used being held is because everybody used saved, you know, we're holding on to your items for, we're doing this for. Being held means like, whoa, people are like, whoa, what's being held? You know, people look at it right away, they notice, they're like, oh shoot, I gotta do this. So anyways, you guys, down here, we could either reward people by giving them a discount, we could give them free shipping, which is another cool one. We could give them a free product even. We could even say, hey, if you spend, you know, $200 on our store, then you're gonna get this certain product for free, which is really cool. This is a really strong upsell. If you do like a ring or a watch, say you're selling a chain and then somebody gets in their cart and you're like if you spend an extra five bucks we'll give you this for free then you know nothing else on your store is probably five dollars so they might have to buy something for 30 or 40 but in their head they're like oh well if i buy this watch that i kind of wanted anyways for a 100 bucks now i'm also going to get a free ring thrown in might as well right so this is a great sort of very strong upsell that you could use as well as shipping as well as just a discount but you could play around and do it however you guys want this is completely up to you fully customizable by you there's no right or wrong way necessarily to do this you just need to make it make sense for your product so whatever product you're selling you need to make it make sense another thing that we could add is a product add-on or shipping protection so if we want to add shipping protection which is a great upsell literally I'd say probably two out of every three customers select this when you have it on and it's just extra money and the reason this is good is because it's basically you saying you ensure that their order arrives and if their order doesn't arrive or if it gets lost you'll refund them or you'll send them a new one for free so if you have 10,000 customers say and they all spend an extra 250 with you, that's around, that's gonna be $25,000 extra that you make off of those customers. $25,000 profit extra that you make by having this turned on, which is really, really cool. So with that being said, you guys, this is a great add-on. I definitely 100,000% recommend putting this guy on here. So if we wanna add additional notes, like say we're selling a custom product or we wanna give our customer a spot where they can have you know additional notes in here, we can do that, which is cool. I think that's a really, really cool cool thing about this app versus a lot of other ones that is really really honestly amazing so another cool thing right here you guys is we can add a discount code spot if we want right here which looks super clean it's cleaner than what Shopify actually looks like when you use the Shopify discount codes so you can check that on so then the discount code box pops up right here which is cool so now we have a store set up with in cart upsells and we are ready to literally start making more sales now, literally just having that is going to allow us to start making even crazier sales, you guys. As we go and take a look at this section too, you guys can also see all your analytics right here. So you can see all your analytics from whatever dates you wanna see, which is insanely helpful when it comes to making decisions in your business. But with that being said, my name is Jeremy Ray Holst. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys inside of the next video. Peace out.